kings and kings became legends. The age of the Vikings. It is the year 954. The town of Jorvik has grown into a prosperous city, rich on trade with the Norse kingdoms in Dublin, Strathclyde, across the great North Sea in the Viking homelands. Jorvik is the very heart of the Danelaw, the lands captured by the Saxons, by the sons of Ragnar Lodbrok. Now the city of Jorvik is the jewel of the North and a prize to be much coveted. But in recent years, the sons of King Alfred, heirs to the Dragon Banner of Wessex, have reconquered much of the Danelaw from the Norsemen, and now they seek control even over Northumbria. There are many folk, among them the merchant princes of York and the Bishop Wolfstan, who would see that the North remains free to enjoy the wealth it reaps from the seas. Yet still there are others who believe it would be better to join with this burgeoning kingdom of the English. Those who would see that the North remains subject only to the Dane law have brought Eric Haraldson, known as the Blood Axe, to Jorvik to be their king. But they find him to be a harsh ruler, quick to anger and unforgiving in his vengeance. Worse still, they fear that Eric himself was ruled in turn by his wife, Gunhild, steeped in spite and malice, and rumoured to be a heathen witch. Now the folk of Jorvik have turned against him, and Eric and Gunhild are fugitives pursued by vengeful warriors from the very city he sought to rule.